Alright, props on the dashboard so I'm not using the phone while driving. I came down here, I saw what looked like perfectly normal parking space, and at no point on the way in here is it obvious that this is a disabled space. There's a tiny little sign behind that one-way sign which is obscured by the one-way sign you can't see it properly from here and there's a bright street light over it the sign that I've just passed can't be read when you're on the way in because it's either too far away or there's a light over it behind, right behind it so you can't see what it says or the actual fabric of the cars in the way or it's behind me there's n nothing on the road here to show this is disabled bay or it is in any way different from the bay on the other side of the road which is entirely normal and has very very similar looking signs on it that just say you have to go to the machine and buy a ticket which is what I did I've got the ticket I put my money in would I be paying for it putting my money in the machine paying if I thought I was trying to get in to a disabled bay for a charge. However, for some reason, there is writing on the road here, and it's why I didn't park there for one thing. Car club only, car club, enterprise, car club, commercial thing, gets writing on the road. Disabled bay, nothing. Tiny little signs you can't read, looking exactly the same as the signs on the other side, which say, you're okay to park here, just go and put your money in the machine. I wouldn't have parked here if it was obvious that it's disabled bay, would I? Yeah. If, yeah, I've gone and put money in the machine when technically I probably could have got away with not doing it because of the time of night. Yeah, but I didn't want to get a parking ticket.